All right, what up guys? So it's Marty Blends and today I'm going over the most frequent question I get, which is how to grow your clientele. I get Instagram DMs and YouTube comments all the time asking me the same question. So I said, why not make a video on it? And keep in mind, this could be for the beginner barber that's barely coming into the industry or maybe you just wanna be booked all the time. And for all the barbers that are currently booked up, I want you guys to comment down below how it is that you filled up your schedule like that so you guys can help the others that are coming into the industry. All right, for the record, I live in a very small city in Texas, so if I can manage to do so, you could also have a book schedule. I'm 100% sure most of you guys can. It's just whether you actually approach it the right way. All right, so let me put this out clear, and I know you guys saw it on the title, but the number one way to gain clientele in 2021 is social media. It's the truth, man. I know my older folks don't want to accept it, but it is the hard truth. No more business cards. I mean, you can still print them out and hand them out. Whatever, right? But I rarely see them. And then I actually did that at the beginning of my career, though. So I did try it out. I know what it's like. On top of that, flyers are not really a thing anymore, but it doesn't mean you can't try it out. Like if you really freaking wanted your clientele to grow that bad, I would go all three ways. All right, now let's get into the fact that being a part of social media is not really necessarily a bad thing. Why? Because if you really, really think about it, how is it that you're watching me right now? It's because I decided to put myself on one of the platforms out there. Now this could be the same thing for you if you just were to post a picture and I'm gonna show you guys right now what exactly I mean by posting a picture, what platform or what to necessarily tag and stuff like that. If it weren't for me to actually put myself out there on these platforms, you would have never known about me. You would have never clicked on a video like this and I just wouldn't be here to help you guys. So don't be afraid to put yourself out there and let others see your work. All right, so what I'm about to do right now is help you guys create an Instagram, which I think is one of the best resources to gain clientele around your area specifically because you could do so much like tag the location and all that. I'm necessarily saying Instagram, you could create TikTok and make some videos over there, but specifically this video is for Instagram because it's the easiest to post a picture of and it's just a place where everybody could just find your work and just, you, you could just have a whole profile of what the recent haircuts have been looking like and you could actually go back and see what your haircuts used to look like other than now. Like I know if I were to go right now to my archive, that would see hell a lot of bad haircuts all right so if you were to be making an account for the first time it says create username what we're gonna do is god of blends dude why doesn't anybody have god of blends that's so sick all right add a profile photo let's go if you guys could actually manage to have a really professional one like have a photographer actually take a professional one that'd be way better because people see the little profile picture and they're like Boom, this guy looks professional. Just know that Marty Blends did start off at the very bottom and now we actually take pictures with professional cameras, lighting, just a bunch of things. It's just, you level up, you kind of start figuring out what works and what doesn't. Don't share this as post. Um, next. Okay, so I'm in. Now in the bio, I want you guys to actually put yourself out there. Go ahead and put your work hours, how much it is you cut, where it is you cut, and then other little details about you, like where you live maybe, or something like that. And I have Brownsville, Texas right here, which is where I live. Shop hours would be 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., whatever your shop hours are. MB Barbershop, which in this case is what the shop would be named as. And then you got walk-ins and appointments, which is very important, so important that maybe you wanna put the others lowercase and that one just like highlighted and really bold because it allows people to actually go into the shop, walk in and ask for you and stuff like that after the fact that, it, that they've seen that first post that we're about to post. So we got God of Blends. I'm probably gonna delete this so one of y'all could take it. That'd be so sick if one of y'all takes it from this video. All right, you got the username, you got the profile picture, you got the bio. Now it's time to post your first post ever. All right, I'm about to show you guys my first ever fade ever, ever. This is, it was on my brother. This is the guy that's behind the camera most of the time, but I would have never posted this right now. Back then I did. I suggest a bunch of you guys take pictures of your cuts as you're starting because you're going to find yourself getting better. It's really going to make a difference later. Okay, when you're making your first post, don't make the same mistakes I did. And I'm about to show you guys my first picture I ever took of a fade that I did without, with Walmart clippers for sure. This is a picture that you guys have all wanted to see. I, 
I get a lot of questions about these, about this one too, so. This will be unburdened in three, two, one. Yeah, ju judge me all you want. That was my first haircut ever. But the first things first, what I'm gonna do is, I told you guys I was located in Brownsville, Texas. So what I'm gonna do is go Brownsville, Texas on there. You wanna maximize the potential of the post, so make sure you add 30 hashtags. Use them all wisely because they are really important. And that's how other people that are into the same industry are gonna find you. And you wanna find the hashtags that don't really have that much like clout to them because you're just gonna get lost in there. So. Pick one that's actually unique, one that actually has your location and stuff like that. You don't wanna just post a picture and not give it a caption, not give it a location, no hashtag. You wanna actually put in the hashtag. You wanna actually put in a nice title for it. Yeah, we made our first post. I actually posted this on God of Blends. And I believe if you have a really popular booking app, then it will be linked to the Instagram. So you can have like a little book button. And it's just easier to find you on whatever website or platform you're on. So make sure you keep being persistent with those walk-ins, not necessarily appointments. You wanna treat everybody the same. You wanna have everybody as crispy as possible so you won't get a bad reputation like, oh, this guy just does it when he tries or he just creates nice blends when he tries. And guys, be patient. Be dedicated, never say no to any haircut. As long as you're getting people coming in, you will get booked. And guys, be patient, especially if you have kids. Kids are not that easy to take care of. But if the parents see that you take care of them, they will come back. That little kid will get used to you. The dad will come back, get a haircut with you. The dad's cousin, the dad's cousin's cousin, the dad's cousin's dad. I don't know, at this point I'm just sleepy and it's 2 a.m. But yes, guys, you understand the fact that people will talk, word of mouth will come in after the fact that you've already posted some posts and stuff like that. And you will be successful at the end of the day. But uh, eventually, you'll, you, you know you'll have better pictures and better lighting. On top of that, please, please make sure that if you post anything, make sure your lighting is good. That is number one. That is the number one thing for me. I always make sure I have good lighting. Um, soft boxes, maybe a ring light. But yeah, just make sure there's good enough lighting. You take that Instagram picture, post it, keep posting, keep posting, be very, very consistent. And you will see your clientele grow ASAP. Like, I am not kidding. People will definitely be looking at you as you get better, as you post more pictures. All right, so we've come down to the end of the video, and if you did enjoy this, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up. If you're not part of the Nodi gang, make sure you hit that little bell button right there so you can stay alert whenever I drop videos. And most importantly, if you're not subscribed, please click that little red button because it does help out the channel tremendously. That's been it for me. I'm Marty Blends, and I'm out. Peace.